What's up Badgers, this is Wasabi and I've got a quick video here to show you how to deposit into our newest set vault, which is the IBBTC slash Curve SBTC LP vault. And what this vault is doing is it's giving you several different layers of rewards. I've got Badger, both boosted and unboosted. You've got the underlying uh, Curve LP fees and then you've got Badger CVX CRV and Badger Vote Locked CVX rewards. Those latter two both go into our auto compounding vaults, which are down here lower on this list. So a bunch of rewards in exchange for providing your BTC liquidity to this uh, curve pool and then depositing that on Badger. So if we click in and click deposit, you can see in detail more what's going on here. So this is a kind of a simulation of the underlying curve LP vault here. And you can see there's four assets in it. You've got IBBTC, you've got REN BTC, you've got WBTC and SBTC. So it's pairing our interest bearing Bitcoin with the other three top tokenized Bitcoins on Ethereum. So what we want to do with this vault is create really deep liquidity for our IBBTC Badger asset. So what's happening here is there's a curve vault and what, the, what Curve tries to do is achieve a balance between these four assets. And if the pool is slightly out of balance, it's going to give you slippage in one direction or another. So let's see what's going on with this pool. We can do this by putting numbers into these fields and the calculator will update and tell us what's going on with the pool. So imagine we had one IBBTC it's going to show us that there is a positive uh, bonus slippage. So you deposit one Bitcoin into here and it's going to give you 1.117 uh, Bitcoin worth of share in this pool. So that's telling us that the pool is a little bit light on IBBTC. So it's trying to incentivize us to deposit more IBBTC to, to balance out that pool. If we had one REN BTC, you'll see that we're actually getting slightly less than one Bitcoin because it's trying to, the, the pool right now is slightly overweight REN, so it's trying to, to balance it out by incentivizing these other assets. Similarly, WBTC, that's gonna give us, looks like a tiny bit of, or 0.1 Bitcoin of bonus, and SBTC will give you a tiny bit of bonus also. So since we have, in this wallet, I've got 0.11 REN, and what I want to do now is since it's going to give me a little bit of negative slippage, I'm going to actually mint this into IBBTC and deposit that in the pool. So that's what we're going to be doing here in this tutorial. So if you already have IBBTC, you can deposit it here. But since we're trying to convert, we're going to X out of here and click over to the IBBTC page and you can scroll down here and it's got a list of the different assets that you can use to mint IBBTC. Since we have REN, I'm gonna go ahead and select that and select the max and reduce the slippage here and go ahead and click mint. And now that that approval has gone through, the second uh, transaction pops up to mint the IBBTC. So I'm gonna confirm that. And while that's confirming, you'll notice that when I'm minting the IBBTC, there was a slight bit of slippage going in that mint transaction. So before you do a transaction, you always want to use this calculator and ensure that that slippage is within acceptable limits. Okay, that minting transaction has completed and now I have interest bearing Bitcoin IBBTC in my wallet. So I'm gonna head back over to the Badger app. Now this is beta.badger.com, but once this is launched, it will be at app.badger.com and back here to the set vault and deposit. Now you'll see it is uh, recognizing my IBBTC. I'm gonna click 100% and set the minimum slippage amount. If this slippage is exceeded, the transaction will revert. So you want to balance that with the ETH that you could spend on a failed transaction. Again, you can play with these numbers to, to simulate what it would look like with any amount of tokens in your wallet. And go ahead and click deposit. Since this is the first time I've interacted with this app, it's going to ask me for a confirmation. And then finally, once that approval goes through, a second transaction will come up to deposit into the vault. Okay, that transaction has succeeded. So you can see that I've gone from IBBTC into shares of this Badger set vault, and that's gonna be earning me the boosted Badger rewards on top of the Curve LP fees and the CVX CRV and Votelock CVX. So thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more tutorials on how to use Badger.